What is going on everyone welcome back to the channel today i am doing yet again another rankings this time i'm going to be ranking every wonder weapon in black ops 3 zombies now in total there are 18 wonder weapons that i am counting in this game all the way from shadows of evil all the way down to origins in the zombie chronicles dlc i'm going to be ranking these based on my personal opinion on them how much i enjoy using them how much i have used them and just my overall thoughts and opinions on them now this list may look a lot different than a lot of people's may look a lot different than yours but again guys at the end of the day it is my personal list okay fine i just want to share it with you guys now if you enjoy these type of videos feel free to leave a like on the video and you know if you didn't i'm not sure if there's a dislike button but oh well um, I would like to know your guys' thoughts and opinions on these as well. What do you guys have as the best wonder weapon, and what do you guys have as the worst wonder weapon? But with that being said, I'm going to get right into this list. I'm not going to talk about it for too long. I don't want to keep it a real long video. I would like to keep it relatively on the shorter end. So I'm just going to mention them, give a very brief, you guys all know what they do, what they are, everything. You guys know that. So I'm just going to give a little give a little word about them. But with that being said, let's get right into the list. So starting the list off, 18, the very bottom of the barrel, my least favorite and probably the worst technical wonder weapon in the whole game, it's gotta be the Wrath of the Ancients, okay? The unupgraded bow from Drys and Drac. I don't really like it. it doesn't do that good doesn't have a lot of ammo and it's not that strong really um so yeah not good until you upgrade it so that's coming in last place coming in number 17 on this list this is probably a hot take okay it's probably a hot take but i have the fire staff i hate the fire staff i always have i always will the fire staff is really bad i don't like it it's stupid that's it. Number 16, I'm going to have to go with the OG original ray gun. The ray gun is a classic. It's been in all of them. It's, you know, it's the ray gun. I, I have it. There's a soft spot in my heart for it. But at the end of the day, it's not that good in the later rounds. It's pretty decent in the early rounds. The middle rounds is where it kind of falls off. But it is still, all in all, not horrible. Next up on this list, I'm going to have to go with the void bow. I mean, this is a hot take. And a lot of these might be a hot take. But after using the void bow, it is cool. But it's my least favorite of all the bows, and really, I don't think it's all that strong. Now, it's not horrible. None of these are horrible, except uh, two of them I mentioned already. Other than that, everything's all right. But the Void Bow, it's just not as good as all the other bows, and I don't think it's as good as all the other Wonder Weapons on this list. Coming in at number 14, I'm going to have to go with the Lightning Staff. Now, I do kind of like the Lightning Staff, but really, it's kind of just like a way worse version of the Storm Bow. Um, it becomes a two shot pretty soon and upgraded it's not that great so that's why it falls so low really for me personal preference it's just my least favorite staff and I don't use it a whole whole lot I just don't think it's that good coming in number 13 on this list we have the 3179 JGB 215 everyone's favorite wonder weapon the baby maker now granted it's not bad right it's just on Shangri La I hate Shangri La and every time I try using it I do bad with it so Although it may not be horrible, I don't use it, and I really just don't like it that much. It's not as cool as a lot of the other ones. It's not horrible, but you do need another gun like the ray gun paired up with it, because I think if you just used it and ran into the zombies, you're not going to go, you're not going to live. You will end up dying from that, so that's why it's coming in number 13. Number 12 on this list, I'm going to give it to the wind staff. Now, I know technically the baby maker is better than the wind staff you can actually go forever with the baby maker but the wind staff you can't get to around 100 with this that but there's a soft spot in my heart for a lot of these and the wind staff is one of them i don't know why i just like it i like the way it looks i like the way it sounds and i like the little tornado ability and the fact that it just blows them off it just throws them now i know it falls off pretty pretty quick not you know crazy early and not crazy late it's just average but i do like it more than all the other things on this list Next up, number 11 on this list, I'm going to give it to the Raygun Mark II. It is solid. It is just a solid wonder weapon, and it especially works good as a backup. Now, the reason it's 11, kind of right in the middle, is I don't think you can just use the Raygun Mark II and be fine. A lot of these other wonder weapons, you can just use those and be okay. However, the Raygun Mark II, I feel like you kind of need something else with it, or maybe even another wonder weapon. I think it's a better secondary than it is primary Although I do love the Raygun Mark II, the design is immaculate, and it is just a classic in my eyes. Now, next up on this list, coming in at number 10, give me the GKZ45 MK3, otherwise known as the Raygun Mark III. 
I think it is completely in the middle average. It has a lot of ammo, but it's not that great. You can go far with it. It doesn't fall off like crazy, and it is still cool. It is still unique. I like the way it looks. I like how you can shoot that one portal with the, you know, like the left trigger or whatever it may be. Have the yellow one that slows them down. Shoot it, and it makes kind of like the Apothecary Servant does a little vortex that kind of sucks them up, kind of in a way. Slows them down, sucks them up. Although not the best, and it doesn't last that long. The gun does have a lot of ammo, and it is on a pretty dope map. Now we're getting into the top half of the rankings. So we're getting into the upper nine. And all these, I really like. And these were pretty hard for me to rank. Because a lot of them, again, I think they're all pretty good. And I haven't used a lot of these on high rounds, I'll admit. I just haven't. So you guys may see these differently than me. And that's okay. And I know some of you are probably thinking, well, what makes me qualified to make this rankings? And, well, not a whole lot makes me more qualified than anyone else. I've been playing zombies just as long as anyone. And it's a big part of what I do. I'm not saying that makes me any more qualified. I'm just saying I do have experience with a lot of these another thing i put into this rankings is how easy is it for me to get them and is it worth the challenge it was to build them something like you know one of the bows the staffs or whatever it may be a buildable whatever it is like was it worth being built and you know that's something that i put into my uh perspective when i talk up when i talk about these it's just one of them things i include so uh yeah number nine on this list Give me the fire slash magma bow. I really actually like this bow. It surprised me. It surprised me a lot. I used to sleep on it. I never got it. I was always a wolf bow connoisseur. But the magma bow is literally fire. Number eight on this list, it's a big one. It's one of my all-time faves just because I used it so much. I'm going to go with the wolf bow, the dire wolf, whatever it is. I really like the wolf bow. I like how it shoots out and just makes that sound. Dude, it's just got that sound to it. I really like it. It's good for, you know, clearance. You can clear a crowd with it, throws them to the side. Although not the strongest bow, in my opinion, I still really like it. Super easy to build. Maybe it's not for everyone. It's just engraved in my brain because every time I played it, that is what I used. So the wolf bow in the top half at number eight, I like it right there. Number seven on this list, go ahead and give me the Wonder Waff. The Wonder Waff OG is OG can get. It's good. It's not great. It's easy to get. You just got to hit the box. You can upgrade it. Decent ammo. It's strong enough to take you to high rounds with the with the use of gobble gums. You know, you can make ammo not be an issue. Let's just say you had unlimited ammo. You'd be good. Okay, I know you'd be good at unlimited ammo with all these. So forget I kind of said that. But I like the Wonder Waff. I really only use it on the Giant and, you know, Shino Numa. But you can still get really far with it. I just think it's classic. I like the design of it. I love the way it looks, the way it sounds. Especially after you pack a punch it, the Wonder Waff is just OG. You got to respect it, okay? You just got to. I know the Ray Gun's OG too. I would say you got to respect it, but it's kind of mid. So Wonder Waff 7, uh, that's what we're going to do. Now, number 6 on this list was kind of hard for me to rank. I'm going to put the Wave Gun at number 6. The Zap Gun, Wave Gun, whatever you want to call it from Moon. I really do like it. Now, the Zap Gun feature of it isn't the best. You know, it's not the best. But the Wave Gun, I really do like it. I like the way it sounds whenever they turn into little marshmallows and blow up. I really like that. I think the design of it's cool. Moon is a cool map, though I hate playing it. That kind of was, you know, the teetering in my head, kind of the factor. Like, I kind of hate playing Moon. I haven't used the Wave Gun really a whole lot, but I have enjoyed it when I do use it, and I can't deny that it is pretty good. Now, number five on this list. I, you guys, I don't watch other people's rankings. I've never seen anyone rank these weapons, so... I can't really base my opinion on other people's or kind of be like, this is a hot take, this is a cold take, whatever the case may be. I really swear, don't know. So having the KT4 at number five might be insane. Now, I will admit, I have not used it a whole bunch. I have not, and I have not had a good, solid game of Zetso in my life. Something always happens. I mean, I can get set up, I can build it, I can upgrade it, I can do all these things, but something always happens, and I never have a good game. But that doesn't, but I still know the KT4 is solid. I have definitely used it. I have had my friends, you know, using it within a game with me, and I've used it myself. And I know you can go high around with the KT4. It is super cool. It almost reminds me of the Sliquifier a little bit, but um, KT4 is solid, man. Especially when you upgrade it, you get the Masamune or whatever it's called. You know, I don't want to kill that name, but uh, 
I do like the KT4. Zetso is a solid map. The number four on this list is a banger, the Stormbow, man. I never ever used it until I started trying to do the Easter egg. And man, I love it. I love the Stormbow. I just love the way it looks, the way it sounds. It's easy to build once you know how to craft it and put it all together. I just love it. I think the ammo on it is, you know, as good as all the other ones. And you can go high around with it. You can camp with it. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. I love the storm. Now, coming in number three on the list, the top three wonder weapons in the game. These seem kind of basic in my opinion. I could see where people might think this is basic, but number three, go ahead and give me the Thunder Gun. Now, the Thunder Gun is an OG. Off the top. Respect it, okay? Thunder Gun goaded. And it's good forever. It is literally good forever. I mean, you can't get much better than that. The design of the weapon is dope. It is good in the game. Every map it's on, it's good. I just love the Thunder Gun. I mean, I just love it. I don't know what else to say. It's just good. Looks cool. Everything about it's cool. And it's great. Good always. Thunder Gun, top three for sure. Now, number two on this list is one of my all-time favorites. The Eye Staff. Give me number two. Give me the Eye Staff. It's a banger. So good. You can get round 100 with it. You can do whatever you want with it. It's strong. It's just good. I love ice. Again, I've said this before and I'll say it again. I was always a sub-zero over scorpion kind of guy. I know that's kind of a hot take. A lot of people like scorpion. I was always sub-zero. Something about ice speaks to me. And that's why I always got the ice staff before I even knew it was good. So the ice staff coming in at number two. It's goaded. Um, it's, it's definitely one of the best wonder weapons in my eyes. If you guys disagree, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just, it's just number two. Now, to no one's surprise, number one on this list. Are you guys ready? Do you guys know what this is? I mean, obviously you do, but are you surprised? No. Number one on this list, give me the Apothecan Servant. The Mars Stagua. It is by far the best wonder weapon. It is good forever. It literally just shoots a big portal and it sucks them all in. You can't get better than that. It is dope. It looks cool. It is super, super unique. It is on the best map ever made. I am biased towards it. Status of Evil is my favorite map of all time. Pause and serve it is probably my favorite wonder weapon of all time. Hands down. I'm sorry. It's dope. I love everything about it. The only thing I would change is give it a little bit more ammo. Just a little. But still, it is so strong. It is so good. Love the Apothecan Servant. Now, I know we kind of flew through that list, guys, and I didn't give a great analysis on a lot of these weapons. But if you did enjoy the video, please feel free to leave a like. I do put a decent amount of time and thought into these rankings, and it always is, you know, just to show some good support of the channel. If you guys have any comments, thoughts, or opinions, put them in the comments down below. I'll reply to all of them. I would like to get, know your guys' thoughts and how you feel about this ranking. Um, you know, if you don't like it, that's fine. I respect it, but I would like to know what you think. What would you change, okay? So, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.